Hi, I'm going to show you how to turn this awful photo into an equally awful HDR photo. Um, now to understand how to do this, you're going to have to understand how digital RAW works because to do this you're going to need um, a camera that can shoot in RAW format and you're going to need uh, a computer with software such as Lightroom 3, uh, Photoshop, CS4, 5, 3, whatever, or Aperture or any other RAW processing thing. Right, um, digital RAW is kind of the opposite to film negatives in that it retains most of its data in the shadows, where film uh, retains most of its data in the highlights. So if, you, if you're going to um, shoot a HDR photo and uh, turn it into HDR in a single exposure, you're going to need to underexpose uh, pretty much every shot that you want to do with this. Uh, doesn't always have to be, but it's it's uh, more recommended to shoot um, underexposed if there's harsh lighting, like in broad daylight. So, uh, yep, here's the original, um, original awful photo. So what we're going to want to do here is always, at the beginning, recovery 100% or 100, uh, fill light 100. Now it's looking pretty ugly, but that'll do. Brightness to zero, blacks zero, contrast 100, clarity 100 if you want to. You don't need to, but it just adds that ugly HDR look that a lot of hipsters seem to like. Um, then you're going to want to expose it, up, expose it up again. So there, that's pretty much it. Um, fill light, recovery, blacks brightness, contrast, clarity, exposure, you're pretty much changing everything. And, of course, play with the white balance if you want to. Um, I should probably show you what this looks like on people. Let's find a person. How about this dude? The guy in the wings, he's pretty mad. Um, now, I've got a preset here for it. I've called it Fox HDR. So, I'll apply that, and... Yeah. See those details in the shadows? Pretty much everywhere. Details in the face. And you do get some ugly halo around um, around edges. That's only if you want to go to the extreme HDR. There is a more subtle HDR, which I'll um, demonstrate on this photo here. Uh, right, so this is the more subtle HDR look. Here's the original on the left and my edited one on the right. Um, this is the uh, the full HDR which I just showed you on the Ferris wheel and the winged man thing, person. Um, yeah, it looks unnatural on people. It looks unnatural anyway, but you know, I don't know. People people like it. Some people like it, I suppose. Um, but if you want a more natural look, um, let's see. You're going to pretty much do the same thing, except this time you're going to bring down fill light to 50. 50. You're going to put brightness back up to 25 and that's pretty much it. Now you can actually see where the shadows are. Although they're not predominant, you can still see detail in the shadows as well as in the hair without it looking too unnatural. So yeah, that's um, that's it I suppose on how to make photos look like HDR. Uh, how about this dude here? This one's the full HDR. And here is my more subtle HDR. And here is the original. And of course it looks weird in black and white. But yeah. There you go. That is HDR. Forks HDR.